Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is local area network or LAN. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in uh, the technology or uh, the LAN. So let's uh, start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well, so that many videos can reach to you. And also, you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, a local area network LAN is a group of computers and peripheral devices that share a common communication line or wireless link to set a uh, server within a distinct geographic area. A local area network may serve as few as two or three users in a home office or thousands of users in a corporation's central office. Home owners and information technology administrators set up LANs so that network nodes can communicate and share resources such as printers or network storage. LAN networking requires Ethernet cables and layer 2 switches along with devices that can connect and communicate using Ethernet. Larger LANs often include layer 3 switches or routers to streamline traffic flows. A LAN enables users to connect to internal servers, websites and other LANs that belong to the same wide area uh, network band. Ethernet and Wi-Fi are the two primary ways to enable LAN connections. Ethernet is an institute of electrical and electronical engineering specification that enables computer to communicate with each other. Wi-Fi uses radio waves in the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz spectrum to connect computers to the LAN. Legacy LAN technologies including token ring, fiber distributed data, interface and attached resource computer network have lost favor as Ethernet and Wi-Fi speeds increased and connectivity cost decreased. There are two primary LAN types, uh, wired LANs and wireless LANs. A wired LAN uses switches and Ethernet cabling to connect endpoints, servers and Internet of Things IoT devices to the corporate network. For a small business with only a handful of devices, a wired LAN can consist of a single unmanaged LAN, LAN switch with enough Ethernet point ports to interconnect all devices, but larger LANs that connect thousands of devices require additional hardware, software and configuration steps to ensure the network is performing optimally. This is where the concept of virtual LAN comes into play. Because an Ethernet LAN is a shared medium, if an organization has too many devices connected to a single LAN, the amount of broadcast traffic which is heard by all devices on the LAN can create congestion and bottlenecks to elevate the amount of broadcast traffic being sent and received on a LAN, the network can be broken into multiple uh, VLANs. This condenses the broadcast traffic so it's only uh, heard by other devices within that virtual LAN, not the entire network. This eliminates much of the broadcast overhead that can lead to performance problems. Although virtual LANs can help reduce broadcast congestion issues, they create another problem. When devices on different VLANs need to talk to each other, a layer 3 switch is required to transmit and receive traffic between the two LANs. This is known as inter-VLAN routing. Additionally, because large enterprise networks almost always are broken up into hundreds of VLANs, they require routers to be deployed throughout parts of the overall network. Today, vendors integrate layer 3 routing capabilities into network switches to create a layer 3 switch. Thus, a layer 3 switch can perform both switching and inter-VLAN routing functions on a single application. Wireless LANs use the IEEE 802.11 specification to transport data between end devices and the network using wireless spectrum. In many situations, a wireless LAN is preferable to a wired LAN connection because of its flexibility and cost saving as it is not necessary to run cabling throughout a building. Companies assessing WLANs, uh, WLANs 
as a primary means of connectivity often have users who rely exclusively on smartphones, tablets and other mobile devices. Operating systems such as Microsoft Windows, Linux, Apple, Android and iOS have Internet Protocol version 4 IPv4 and IPv6 networking capabilities incorporated into them. Additionally, personal computer, PC, tablet and smartphone hardware all come with an Ethernet port, Wi-Fi chip or both. This means that as long as the network administrator has a relatively up-to-date laptop or desktop PC, it's fairly straightforward to network machines together onto a wired or wireless LAN. Setup of a simple wired LAN requires an administrator to connect the end device to a LAN switch using a twisted pair Ethernet cable. Once connected, the devices can communicate with each other on the same physical LAN or VLAN. To set up a wireless network, the administrator needs a wireless access point. The WAP or wireless access point can be configured to broadcast a network service set identifier and require devices to authenticate to the network using one of several Wi-Fi authentication technologies. Popular authentication options include Wi-Fi protected access to pre-shared by key or web to enterprise actually. Uh, then uh, friend, uh, there are the benefits of using the LAN. Local area network enables devices to connect, transmit and receive information between them. <coughs> the benefits of LAN technologies include enable access to <coughs> centralized applications residing on servers, enable all devices to store business critical data in a centralized location, allow resource sharing including printers, apps and other shared services, allow multiple devices on a LAN to share a single internet connection and protect LAN uh, connected devices using the network security. Types of LAN, uh, from an architectural standpoint, a LAN can be considered either peer-to-peer -peer or client-server. A peer-to-peer -peer LAN directly connects two devices, generally workstations or personal computers, together using an Ethernet cable. A client-server LAN consists of multiple endpoints and servers that are connected to a LAN switch. The switch directs communication streams between the multiple connected devices actually. So uh, friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Uh, I hope uh, you like this video. If you like it, uh, please share it with your friends and colleagues. And um, thanks a lot for watching the video. Thank you friends.